Wildlife Diaries gives the viewers a glimpse of the various patients the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley works with on a regular basis. All staff and volunteers have undergone training to work with various animals. Please do not try to care for an injured wild animal yourself. Take it to your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Wildlife Diaries, Episode 6, The Selfless Volunteers Volunteers are the backbone of the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley. From animal care to data entry, volunteers keep the Wildlife Center and its animals alive. Their contribution of time makes a big difference and helps give wildlife a second chance. I'm going to be tubing possums, and the first thing to do is drop the solution, and you want to drop a little bit more, so that way you're not putting air uh, from the tube into a possum's uh, stomach and you just want to push it out until you see it and you get the right amount for it in the possum. Next, get the possum. This is the one that's going to be tubed. And then you just want to push it in. And you want to make sure that you see if any comes out through either its nose or mouth, and then you take it out if that happens. He's doing okay. Okay, maybe I'll cover getting the mallards. Take this and let the geese out crumble. <laughs> the ducklings are hungry. Yeah, so we got ourselves a western screech owl here and we're going to feed him. We have uh, some pieces of a mouse here that they like to eat. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our hemostats right here and we're going to just take a piece of the mouse and see hopefully he'll just kind of get it. Should grab it straight off the hemostats like that. Might have a little trouble keeping it all in. There we go. All right, let's see if we can take some more pieces. So now we're going into the crow enclosure and we're going to feed them. And we have four plates here of Corvid mix. This is what we give to the crows. It contains Corvid mix, smelt, mice, and worms. So here we go. And now we're going to feed the brownhead cowbirds and the house sparrows. And here we have some berries, mealworms, crickets, and soap dog food. And we feed them every hour. Many birds eat mealworms as a natural part of their diet. In order to maintain a healthy mealworm population, volunteers must regularly care for them. Okay, so right now I'm cleaning out the mealworms. These are dead ones. So what we do is we clean out the old dead ones and any left, any old food that you might see in there. It's kind of old and moldy. Make sure there's no um, live ones attached there and throw that away. And once we get it all nice and clean, 
um, we want to make sure that there's a couple of inches of bran, which is this powdery stuff, left in the box here for them. And then uh, I'm going to cut some food for them. And I'm going to give them maybe some apple. You can cut up a whole apple and slice it very thin so that and spread it around inside the bran here for them to eat. Or uh, yams, something like that. See, and this is what the live little guys are looking like. And here, see, they're crawling up the, see them crawling up the screen there. A volunteer is entering the great horned owl enclosures to give them food. Volunteers need to wear hard hats and eye protection when working with raptors inside their enclosures. So this is a red-tailed hawk, and he's been losing weight. Usually we weigh the hawks every other day, but since he's been losing weight and we're trying to track whether or not he's eating, we're going to weigh him. Um, and we hold them with their talons facing out and their backs pressed against our um, stomachs. and 12 grams. His weight went up, surprisingly. Before skunks can be released, they need to be caught without getting sprayed first. Here, a volunteer is attempting to trick the skunks to enter these kettles by placing their food inside. Over here, the skunks can be seen exploring their new environment upon release. Visit us at WCSV.org to see how you can help us in protecting our wildlife. Donate to our cause, volunteer at our center, or simply share the word.